Microsoft Forms also allows the user to add images and videos to any one of the questions that you add to a survey or a quiz. So for example, you see here, this is an example of a math question. Um, and you can see it says the table below shows the number of flowers planted by the science club. So if you need to take an image as part of your question, you can now insert this. So what we do over here, you'll notice when you click on one of the questions, you have a little box over here. It says insert media. So you click on insert media. There are two different options. You can do an image or you can do a video clip. So when we click on image, you have three different options to choose from. You could do an image search in Bing if you were looking for just some kind of general picture. Or if you have a picture that has already been saved to OneDrive, you can connect to OneDrive and select the picture from there. Or you can go over to upload if you have the picture already saved to your computer elsewhere outside of OneDrive. So in this instance, um, this was a, a pre-created test that I'm transferring over to Forms and I took a snapshot of that image and I saved it to my computer. So I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to navigate to where I saved this picture and I'm going to select it. And you can see right now it looks like it's going to put it to the side. However, if I want this picture to be a little bit bigger, when you insert the picture, you get two different options at the lower right hand side. You can delete it or you can edit it. And by default, it's small. I want to make this larger so that the students can see it. I can click on the larger one. Now it expands it and now it's a little bit easier for the students to read. Um, and that's all you need to do. There's no saving involved. It automatically is inserted. So that's how you would insert a picture. If you wanted to insert a video, it's pretty much the same format. Um, for example, here, let's just say we wanted the students to view a video and then make comments on it. So the type of question that I inserted here was a long answer type of question. Um, so we have our directions here and then I'm going to go over to the same place. I'm going to click insert media except this time I'm going to choose video. Um, so if you have the URL you can paste it directly into here. And then you can click add and then you will see the video will load. This is a YouTube video. Um, the nice thing about this is, is it does take out the ad that you usually see at the beginning of YouTube videos um, and it will play directly within the browser. So it's as simple as that. Adding media to any of your questions is pretty straightforward um, and everything is saved automatically and everything will play regardless of what type of device the students are actually viewing this on.